Well, Joyce, we've been talking about updated models this week, but I understand now you have a future model for us. Well, not just a future model, John, a future car company. Oh. Every so often, somebody decides to do Detroit one better. So, as you know, we have seen a lot of car companies come and go, and we've seen a lot of upstart ideas, but we have never seen anything like this. The vehicle, that's the one closer to the camera, is called the Light Star. The company that builds it, the Awaso Motor Car Company. Well, don't let that name fool you. Awaso is the Michigan town where founder David Vaughn plans to build the Light Star. The Light Star is part car, part motorcycle, but it has the looks of an airplane. That's no accident since it was designed by James Beatty, the same engineer who gave us the BD-5 home-built aircraft. And you get in and out of the Light Star fighter airplane style. There's seating for two and seven cubic feet of cargo room behind the passenger. While the Light Star is more fragile than a car, occupants are protected by a steel frame and roll bars. And to make it a little less airplane-like than it looks, air conditioning and a sound system will be available. The Light Star has four wheels. There are two main 14-inchers, set up motorcycle style, and two small outrigger wheels. It rides on three at any one time. The manufacturer claims the Light Star will have skid pad handling figures similar to a Formula One race car. Well, we really couldn't tell with this prototype. We do know that the Light Star's small size makes it very maneuverable in those tight urban dogfights. For power, you get all of 400 cc's and 39 horses from a Yamaha motorcycle engine. Now, that'll be mated to either a five or six speed manual transmission. Awaso claims a six second zero to 60 time and a top speed of more than 100 miles per hour. With only 930 pounds and a low point 092 drag coefficient, it'll get an estimated 60 miles per gallon in the city, 100 highway. There are only a handful of production models on the street now, but Awaso plans to build 6,000 by the end of this year, and down the road they're shooting for a yearly production of 75,000. And the price for this pseudo jet commuter? Just 69.95. Now, Joyce, can I go down to my local Light Star store and pick one up? <laughs> Not exactly. There are a few distributors around, but right now they'll just be happy to put you on their waiting list. Now, this vehicle is street legal. Oh, yes. Mostly because most states consider it either a motorcycle or a multi purpose vehicle. Interesting. Thanks, Joyce.